drink. Four positive cases have been identified overnight, which are not travellers, and it is not clear yet if they are linked. We are announcing a lockdown with immediate effect, and I stress that, a lockdown with immediate effect. We are telling the community to stay at home. The good thing is, unlike before, this is not new to us. We've done this once already. We know as a community that together we can do this successfully and keep each other safe. I think from our point of view is we also wanted to say thank you very much to the community once again for working with us. We've always worked together on these matters and I think it's really important that we continue to work together and I've no doubt if we work together we'll hopefully progress through as rapidly as possible. As, as Nikki said, we're on it, we're working on it, we're in a different place to where we were last year, we know what to do and we know it, it, this can work because we, it, by, by working together it will work. And we've got such a strong community spirit, we will make it work. It's the lockdown 2.0. Woof, that is, I feel like I'm a bit in a dream. I know, it's that is literally like come out of nowhere. We've been we... seven months without a lockdown. Now, I think I really, really appreciate how quickly they have jumped on this because that's quite insane. That is what has kept yeah. us basically out of lockdown for seven months is how quick they are to act. Yeah. It's gonna be very interesting over the next couple of weeks. Apparently that's two weeks at least of full lockdown. I don't know what it's gonna mean for our jobs again. It's gonna be interesting. I'll be working. We'll see and one thing that means though however is that the roads are gonna be very quiet. <laughs> Amazing. Because I yeah. hate how busy the Guernsey roads are, but <laughs> We're just going to need to see how this pans out, and yeah, we'll keep you updated. Do this, see if we can beat the rain. I think we're a bit late for that, but let's go. So it's definitely a brief day for a walk. What do you think? Well, it's definitely not a sight you're used to seeing <laughs> on us either. I know. It's been about a week now, the first week since lockdown was announced last Saturday. What a week it's been. I not know. a lot has happened, and also everything's changed, <laughs> as you can see. We've decided to get out and about, even though it's raining today, and get our exercise in nice and early. We've um, actually found that, well, it's kind of encouraged us to actually get out more. We've had quite a few, like, close shaves where we would be, like, banished into 14 days isolation very suddenly because yeah. of being, like, potential contact traces. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of risk, yeah. so we decided make the most of it while we can before anything actually happens. Yeah, <laughs> we do not want to be stuck inside and not be able to go out. We're only allowed two hours out for exercise. We're going to go and enjoy our walk before the rain comes and then we've got plans we're going to go and try and get some hedge veg cookies later on there's these guys called the two donkeys yeah and they make chocolate brownies of some of the best cookies are chocolate brownies not cookies but we had cookies from them before that was mm -hmm. the ones with yeah, the chocolate yeah i don't think they're doing the cookies anymore just brownies it's a shame just you just sort that out guys we'll come along try and get the brownies if they've got any left but yeah just now we're just going to go and enjoy it before the rain comes on properly So we made it back just in time. I think I've got a bit of a windswept look going on. But regardless of the weather, it's still actually just so nice to get out and about. And we've, I just feel like we're making so much of it now, like we said before, because we don't know when we can actually do that. But anyway, now what we're going to do is go and head to this hedge veg stall, go and get some of these brownies. Right, go, go, go. <laughs> Cream egg. Cream egg. Do you want me to get a different one as well? Yeah, yeah, get a couple. I Oh, thank you. Right, how many did you get? Two. Just oh, two? Do you want more? I wanted a 
a cream egg one to myself. Wait, what? I think I'm sharing a brownie. What do you want? I want two. Two key for me. ones for you? No, two different ones for me. Ah, oh, so you no, want more? Okay. We've become such a one unit that when I say me, Gemma thinks that I mean I'm going to share my brownie <laughs> with her. Well, let me check I've got enough money. Yeah. <laughs> Money's not an issue when it comes to brownies. <sighs> Sharing a brownie. What's that about, guys? Come on, what am I going to do with her? Oh, it looks like everyone's heading out to get their brownies now that they've announced it on Instagram that they are got the brownies out. So, right. Three pound each. So I got two key egg brownies and two Oreo brownies. Oh, these are so good. I know. I can't wait. I cannot believe you only got one. <laughs> well, I was gonna. I thought we would get one each and share them both. No, but... <laughs> I want a whole one. I'm trying to film and then this one interrupts me with her brushing my teeth. They're ruining my audio. So in order to facilitate these workouts, we've completely rearranged the apartment. If you've seen any of our previous videos, the previous lockdown video, the couch used to be here, the table used to be over here, and we've boosted it up against the window, out of the way. That's now Gemma's throne, so she sits in that one. I'm stuck in this little uncomfortable free leather chair that I got, always me. And uh, for a long day's work, I'm actually stuck in this. The, the Hard wooden chair. Wooden chair. Yeah, <laughs> so that's actually working out really quite well. We do our workouts kind of over here. We do like a Les Mills body attack most of the time, and it's actually just as good as going mm -hmm. to the gym because instead of paying ninety pound a month for a gym membership, how much do we pay? Um, at the moment, we're still going through all of our emails on free trials, but I think it's like. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get a label sponsorship here. I think it's nine pound a month, but if you change emails well, once a month, you can get it for free. Yeah, I think yeah, it's round about that. We yeah. got blue light discount because we worked in health services. There you go, so blue light as well. It's a little bit cheaper for us. But yeah, we're working out and it's doing pretty well with that, so we're enjoying it. in case we need to go into lockdown again, I think that should keep me going. What do we think, a little treat for our anniversary dinner? Um, oh, a full cake? I'm down for that. That's a cookie. Oh wow. But then this is our normal Lockdown, <laughs> anniversary dinner. I think the more indulgent the better. <laughs> So I'm just putting together the finishing touches for our dinner. It's a little bit of a random mix match of a roast dinner, but we've got cheese and leek pastries. Some broccoli and carrots, and of course, the little Yorkshire puddings to go in after. Our plan for this roast was we had actually seen a corn meat alternative roast. Um, and my plan was to get that, but when I couldn't see it in the shops, I ended up getting those cheese and leek little twirl things instead. So we'll give them a shot and see how they go. Um, but yeah, Campbell's sitting finishing a vlog and we're starving, so I'm just putting this together. Now the question is, to get dressed for our anniversary dinner or to do it in our pyjamas? I'm thinking it's going to end up being a pyjama night. <laughs> oh, oh, they look good. I'm sure how I feel about that. Setting up the table. That's my plate. That's not my chair. That's my chair. Well, you've been in the executive chair oh, all day. <laughs> it's my turn. Well, this is us here. 
And it's a very happy anniversary, babe. Happy bon appetit. It wouldn't be our anniversary unless we were in our pajamas, would it? That's very Let's true. To be honest. And I think it's going to be our second and our first anniversary in lockdown. So the last uh, time I remember we celebrated was. In Australia, we got Domino's Pizza by Two the beach, watched ago. Sunset. Yeah. That was right, a bottle of wine, really Domino's Pizza, Australia. Sunset by the beach, it was quite nice. So yeah. this one's quite a fancy um, dinner because we're actually eating at a table, not off of our knees on the beach. So <laughs> yeah, happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. So it's the beginning of February, we've finally actually got our act together so far this year and we've decided to sit down, come up with a proper business plan of what we want to achieve in 2021, especially on the back of the success that we're actually having on YouTube and on the website. It's been phenomenal and we're so grateful for all the support that you guys have given us. So we're going to sit down, have a little boring chat and then maybe later on if the weather picks up a little bit outside, do you think a swim? Maybe go for a little swim. In the sea, I think that'll help clear our heads again. So. <laughs> Let's get stuck into this work. What a view that is. We're down at Kobo, we've decided to come out. We're gonna try and do a good long swim today. We've been building up. We'd be building up, we did five minutes last time, we'd be building up to a 10 minute swim. <laughs> last time it was so wavy and yeah. so choppy and so windy. It's a lot less windy tonight and we're both feeling in a good mood. Yep, yeah, I'm ready for it. The sun is just dipping, it's a beautiful sunset. So we're gonna go and clear our heads yeah. and get in the water for a try for a 10 minute swim, let's go. I put my mask under the hot water bottles. We've been bringing hot water bottles with us as well, which is a very, very good idea it's if you are going sea swimming at the moment because it's so oh. cold. Feeling cold or cold? I was feeling warm earlier. No. Right, come on. I keep saying in these YouTube videos, I've got Viking blood. Mm. Let's do it. Should we wear a swimming cap instead of a woolly hat? I know. Then it means if I actually get wet. No, it's always easier in your head than actually when it comes to doing it. I'm so motivated when I'm sitting in my nice cozy house. Oh. Like, yeah, let's go yeah, swimming. Okay. I open the fridge and I'm like, yeah, that's not cold, I can do it cold. <laughs> so from the length of the beach, when we sell you guys at the car, we've gone from, oh yeah, we're going to try and do 10 minutes. Then we said, okay, five minutes, five minutes to do. And then Jim has just said, let's just see how many we can do. At least we tried, at least we tried, let's go home. Outdoor swimming goal, it doesn't count unless you record it. Go. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, she's off. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. And I can't feel my feet. Oh, that is so beautiful. But now I can't feel my legs. Look at that. Oh. I need to at least get my shoulders wet. I'm just saying, I need to go up to my shoulders, so. Oh my god. Ah, oh, back of the neck. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy now. You wet the back of your neck. Oh, that wave tickled it. It tickled it. Two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> oh! He's done it. He's done it. Shoulders are wet. I'm swimming, mum! I'm swimming! <sighs> Perfect end to the day. We're going to call it there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed 
our day, our week in lockdown. And uh, yeah, we're going to be trying to do these quite regularly, keep you guys up to date with what you, the Guernsey is like during lockdown and what we've been up to during it, just to keep the world updated. And we'll see you guys again in the next one. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and catch you later. And don't forget to stay safe. Stay safe, Guernsey.